denominator, x minus 2, close parenthesis for the denominator. And we'll start off with evaluating this function for x equals 2. So x equals 2. And we have for the function. We enter 2, enter, and there's no solution, so no solution for x equals 2. Now, let's approach x equals 2 from the right. And rather than saying from the right, we're going to put a little plus sign here. This plus sign means that we're going to be approaching 2 from the right without it means from the right. Okay, so we'll use the numbers 2.1. 2.01, 2.001. So let's try 2.1, enter, and I get 4.1, 2.01, and I get 4.01, and finally I try 2.001, enter, and I get 4.001. If I round this, this is eventually approaching the number 4. So, the answer for approaching 2 from the right will be 4. Now, let's approximate uh, as x approaches 2 from the left. So, this would be x approaches 2 from the left would be 2, the negative sign. This means we're approaching 2 from the left side. So let's use 1.9 on the left, 1.99 on the left, and 1.999 on the left. Okay, 1.9, enter, I get 3.9. 1.99 on the left, I get 3.99. And 1.999, I get... 3.999. This will round, or should I say it approximates, or approaches 4. So, the approximation to the right is 4, and the approximation to the left is also 4. Now we'll be evaluating and approximating graphically. Okay. This is the function f of x right here in graph form. And we want to know what is the value of f of x as x approaches 2 from the right. Well, here's x equals 2 right here. And the function is here and here. The right side of 2 of the function is this piece right here. So, as I follow the graph from the right of 2 right here, uh, let's see where we go toward. We head to this spot right here. This spot corresponds to 5. So as I follow the graph from the right side, so I get to x is 2, I will land at the height 5. Here, this says what is x of 2 as you travel the function from the left. If I travel the function from the left, I'm using this piece right here until I get to 2. So as I travel here and I get to 2, I'm now at the level of 10. Next, this is asking on the function, as I travel the function to positive infinity, which is to the right, where do I finally end up? So I follow the function to the right, I get to here, then I jump down to here, and I keep following to the right, and I notice that this is about as high as I can get as I follow it to the right. The highest I can go, as I go to the right, is 15. This says, what is the function f as I follow the function to the left, or toward negative infinity? Okay, so let's follow the graph to the left. I go from here to here, and I stop here, and I jump up here, and I follow from here, and I keep going to the left forever. I'm getting closer and closer to the x-axis, which is y equals 0. And those are my values for the um, approximation. Now, what about evaluating? 
e. Let's say I want to know what f of 2 is. f of 2 will be this filled in spot right here. This filled in spot points toward 10. Let's say f of 1. f of 1 is right about here. So I go to this spot. And I can see that at f of 1, that spot is going to be 5. Let's take a look at example 2. Example 2, let's say we want to find um, f of x as x approaches, approaches right, 1 from the right. And then we'll look for the solution as f of x approaches 1 from the left. Okay, here's one. And from the right, here's the right side of the graph. As I approach one, it takes me to this spot right here, or arrives at this spot, which is at 10. If I travel along the function on the left side until I get to one, this is where we end up. We start here on the left side, and here's where one finally takes us it takes us to this spot, or leads us to this spot. So that spot again is 10. Okay. Now, what about the evaluation at 1? Well, the value at 1 is this filled in circle right here. So the value at f of x is 1, is this spot which points to 15. Now, let's look at f of x as x approaches positive infinity, and then we're going to look at f of x as x approaches negative infinity. Okay, as we approach positive infinity, which is to the right, so we'll follow our graph to the right forever. And this is constantly getting closer and closer to the um, level 5, or this horizontal line at 5. So we'll assume that we're getting closer and closer to 5, and that's our limit. Okay. What is the function value of f of x as x approaches negative infinity, which is to the left? Let's take a look. Let's follow the graph f of x to the left. This goes here, and it keeps going. So it, um, it gets closer and closer to 20, it's a level 20, the further we go. Okay, let's take a look at this example. In this example, we want to uh, find the function of f as x approaches 0 from the right. Okay, well, here's x equals 0, and let's follow the function here, and we're going to the right. As I go get closer and closer to zero, you'll notice that my graph keeps reaching up. Therefore, this graph is going to positive infinity as I try to get closer to x equals zero from the right. What happens is I, uh, on f of x is I try to approach zero from the left side. Let's start over here on the left, and let's get closer and closer to x equals zero. As I get closer and closer to x equals zero, I'm getting closer and closer, but my line is going down further and further, so I'm going down to negative infinity. Okay. Next, this says, what is the evaluation of f of 0? What is the evaluation of f of 0? Well, when, when we're here at 0, we see that this spot right here is closed in at 6. So this is the value at this closed in dot. It is 6. If there were no closed end dot at all here at 0, we would say the answer does not exist. Finally, or here at number 4, we have the function f of x, and we want to find out what happens as x um, goes out to positive infinity, which is to the right. So let's follow the function to the right. So let's follow here, and then follow again here, jump over here. As I go to the right, positive infinity, it gets closer and closer to this level, which is 4. And
then what happens is I follow the function to negative infinity, which is to the left. Well, follow the function to the left. I end up here, and then I start back here, and I keep following and following, and I'm topped out at the level of 8 as I go to the left. And these lines here are called horizontal asymptotes. And this line right here in the middle, x equals 0, is a vertical asymptote.